How are you guys doing today? Doing well. Good. I'm happy to be here. I want to thank Dr. Sale for inviting me to speak to his audience today. Today, we're going to talk about chiropractic health, pain. You know, what is that? What is pain? And before we even get into it, who am I? Like, who is this person up here? This is not, that's not me, by the way. Kind of looks like me, but it's not me. But this is a few pictures that I, of certain events that I spoke at and I was um, part of. As you can see in the middle, in the middle, that's when I graduated from Sacramento State in 2000 and 2013, yeah, it feels like it was 100 years ago. Uh, to the top right, I was a speaker for my graduation. That was one of the greatest experiences that I've ever encountered. Uh, bottom right, well, okay, let's go bottom left. This was the first day of chiropractic school. I was so excited, you know, got accepted first day. New, I was, even the whole chiropractic thing was just new to me. Uh, you know, but I'm the type of person that loved to learn, so I was just so ready to like gain some knowledge. And this middle picture right here, this is when I traveled to Nigeria, and I was speaking to a crowd just like this, maybe a little bigger back home. I'm Nigerian, by the way, if you can't, if you don't know this, but um, I was speaking to the crowd about chiropractic. You can tell I love to talk about chiropractic. I love to talk about health in general, okay? It's not just about chiropractic, it's about overall health. But let me, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So yeah, and then the top left is, um, I made it to my first newspaper. I don't really read, read the newspaper, but I made it on the newspaper, and it was, it was a special moment for not just me, but for my family as well. So just uh, a little bit about myself. I don't have any pictures of like fancy house or like fast cars and stuff like that because I don't have any of that stuff. If any of you want to like donate to that, I would not say no. But let's get right into it. So what is what's pain? What's the purpose of pain? Of pain? Uh, Tate, do you what, what do you think pain is? Why do we have pain? I think pain is just the body's way of letting us know that. There's dysfunction going on, and right. okay. you know. So it's basically a signal, right? Yeah, so essentially. That, would you say a signal is a good thing or a bad thing? I would say a signal is a good thing. It's a good thing, right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like a pain is necessarily not a bad thing, but we've been taught that every time you feel a pain, that means something is wrong. But as you know, with most things in life, there are pros and cons, right? The good thing is a pain is not always a bad thing because it's a signal that your body is functioning and it's telling you that, hey, hey, something is wrong here, go check it out. But the bad thing about pain is when your body is signaling you pain or when you have pain symptoms or signals, your body is already at a 70 to 75% disadvantage. So pain is not a bad thing because pain is a signal or your brain is signaling to your body that something is not functioning the way it's supposed to. But at the same time, pain is a bad thing because when you do feel pain, your body is already at a 70% disadvantage. So that's something I want you to keep in mind because with chiropractic, it's not just about, okay, I have low back pain or neck pain or back pain. It's more about function, making sure that you're functioning, that you're, uh, making sure your body is functioning at its full potential. Uh, cause and effect. How many of you have, I'm, everyone has a smoke alarm, right? I don't know about you, but I grew up in Richmond, and sometimes I'm a great cook, but things happen, okay? So if I'm cooking and it gets kind of smoky, the smoke alarm goes off. And with me, when the smoke alarm goes off, not just me, family members, I've seen it around, because we, I, I had to see someone else do it to know, oh, that's what I can do. So when the smoke alarm goes off, what do we do? One of two things. Either we find a chair or find something to climb on, unplug it, take the battery out, so we don't hear that alertness or that signal. Or we'll get a newspaper or something and ban it so it'll go away. That's the effect, that's not the cause. The cause of that smoke is either um, you're, you just don't know how to cook or it's just one of those bad days, just not cooking the right thing or you're cooking it too long or you forgot that you were cooking or like the house is just smoking. 
That's the call. So with chiropractic and with pain in general, the point is not to chase the effect. The point is to figure out what is the cause of this pain, right? Because if you're on plug the smoke alarm and take the battery out, that signal goes away. But that does not mean the cause of it is the way. The house still has smoke in it. So let's keep that in mind and make sure that we're not just um, taking medication or basically just chasing symptoms because we're in pain already. Now, I need the audience to participate one more time. Well, maybe a few more times, but this time for sure. What are the three things that um, we need to survive? What are the three things that we've been taught that we need to survive? Air, uh -huh. water, right, and one more food. Air, water, and food. Those are the three things, three, three things that we we've been taught that we need to um, survive. How many days can you go without water? A week. At least a week. How many days can you go without food? Two weeks. At least two weeks. How many minutes or seconds can you go without air? A few, right? So technically, we can survive without it. Not for long. I'm not suggesting that you should go and uh, you shouldn't eat or shouldn't drink. Uh, you shouldn't eat. You shouldn't um, um, get oxygen or you shouldn't drink water. That's not what I'm suggesting. But what I am saying is those are not necessarily the only three. Like you can survive with those without those things. Not for long, but you can. But there's one thing that you cannot go a second. You cannot go a second without. That's your nervous system. As you can see in this picture, every part of your body has enough nerve flow. Every part of your body has a, a nerve function that it has to um, attend to. So, but that means you cannot go a, sick, a single second if your nervous system is not functioning. Have you heard of people um, that would say they're like a vegetable or in a coma? They're yes. Dead. Just, they're not, they're alive, but they're not functioning. That's because your nervous system is not functioning. It's not working. So when your nervous system is not working, yes, you're, you can't function, you're alive, but you're not functioning. So the one thing that we for sure cannot live without is your nervous system. And that's why as a doctor of chiropractic, we do not just focus on pain. We already talked about how pain is not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. But what we do focus on is your nervous system, making sure it's functioning. Because if your nervous system is functioning, then the rest of the body has the intelligence to heal itself and align itself. Um, as you can see here, this is a, this is not a good thing. This is you, we all everyone in here has a cell phone, and when you see that bar in your cell phone up there, yes, okay. If you see that, I thought you had a question. You just scratch it. If you see that bar, that means that your service is not good. You have low service, right? But does that mean throw away your phone? Does that mean you have a bad phone? No, it just means you're not connected. That's the same thing with your nervous system. Sometimes your body, your brain and your body is not connected or functioning at its full potential. It just means that you need to get corrected and get the right adjustment. And then the five aspects of health. We're looking at sleep, exercise, diet, positive attitude in stress, and proper nerve flow. Proper nerve flow in chiropractic. Let me explain. If you, sleep is important because we, our body heals when we sleep, okay? Um, exercise is important because every part of our body has a muscle. Now it's not necessarily your eyes needs to be buff, or uh, your eye muscle needs to be buff, it's just a healthy stress. Uh, nutrition, you are what you eat. Stress, you already know how detrimental stress is. And then proper nerve flow, we already talked about how your nervous system is the reason, it's the only thing you cannot live without. So that's why these are um, the five aspects of health. And then as far as chiropractic, let me touch on it a little bit. Some people will have this chronic low back pain, or knee pain, or shoulder pain, or even neck pain. As you can see in this picture, I specialize in the upper cervical technique. And the reason is, because if you see the misalignment in the top um, neck, once you have that misalignment, then that basically triggers everything else in the body. And if, with the right chiropractic adjustment, if you correct that first cervical, then that means the rest of the body will adjust to that um, adjustment. And here, this is kind of like the reason why I decided to 
not just go into health, but focus more on like preventive health and what the health profession will I join or uh, study that actually you know gets results. As you can see here, our healthcare system is actually kind of like a sick care because percentage-wise, we're getting worse. And the next slide you can see, uh, I'm sorry, this is kind of small, but if you look, we're 37 worldwide as far as health goes, and we're spending the most. So we're not doing something right. So that's why I decided to, you know, look into it and see what is it that we're not doing right. Uh, so how does real health take place? Thomas Edison says, doctors of, of the future will give no med medicine, but will will give no medicine for an interest in patients and the care of the human frame and proper diet and the cause and prevention of disease. Okay, so when you think about it, what is what is health? Like what, what does that mean? Okay, let's talk about the beginning. The first three things that are created in a human uh, in an embryo is your brain, your spinal cord, and your nerves. Your brain, your spinal cord, and your nerves. Now a doctor of chiropractic, we focus on the connection between the brain and the body, we focus on the nervous system, and we focus on function. And doesn't that make sense that if the first three things that are created in an embryo is your brain, your spinal cord, and your nerves, when something is not functioning right in the human body, you look to those areas to see what is not you know, working as it should. That's why I know that Dr. Chiropractic is definitely one of the best professions out there. And I'm not trying to be biased, maybe I am, but with the results that I've seen, you know, I can definitely stand on 10 toes and say, this is a profession that will get results for any type of illness or sickness or disease. And even if you're not going through or having any symptoms, you can still get results with chiropractic because we look at the nervous system look at how your overall health is functioning, and then we'll make the right specific adjustment necessary. Do anyone have any questions? No, that was awesome. Okay. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.